What's up, everybody? I got an Altoids tin to show you. This is the best tin for my area. Check out Christmas tree set up. Just gotta, you know, decorate it. Let's get started right into the tin. Produce brand right around the outside. Produce of USA. Four oh number four oh six oh I guess for some reason. I don't know why I said that, but produce band can get them from the produce sections at stores. Um here's what the tin looks like. On the bottom I got three layers of duct tape. I got some razor blades, two of those, a fishing hook. Got some tin foil, multiple uses. A band-aid, bigger because I can always cut it down and make it smaller, but I can never make a smaller, bigger band-aid bigger. So, small band-aids go with those. Some waterproof matches. There's not care waterproof matches because these matches aren't waterproof, but I have 20 of these so I could split these and make 40 of them. And the striker's waterproof, so that's the reason why I use carry these matches and waterproof. It gives me more fires. Um, this is some um, thin tinder. See, look at how thin it makes it. It's not puffy or anything. This is just some thin tinder. It's just like wood chips, wax, and some kind of nitrogen. No, no not nitrogen. I don't know why I just said that. But some kind of um, tinder. Some special kind. It's got like fire um, liquid or something like that, fire paste, I think it's like, it's got some, it's got some, uh, what's it called, I know what it is, but I can't think of it, I'll get back to, is it lighter fluid, lighter fluid, it's kind of what it's like in here, but yeah, there's that. I got two of these potato chip clips. Normal stuff. Some clips. The reason why I keep these is because I can hold things together or I can um, use these. You know, I'm going to be out there so my clothes get wet. You know, I'm going to want to keep them dry. So I got this for a clothes hanger. I got some cordage, some razor blades, razor blades. I got some uh, 38 can opener, and I got the blade for it, so a bottle opener on it. No, can opener. Signal mirror. See that it's signaling right now. Yeah, signal mirror works really well. Homemade actually. Just took some tin and cut it, put some stuff in the back of it. Electrical tape. So I got a button compass that actually works. West, east, south, north. East, west, south, north, or north, south, east, west, north, south, that's how it goes here. Electrical tape. Some duct tape. I got some of these, um, some of this flag and tape, flag your way back to your stand, wherever you need it to be, tornado, alum, acme, aluminous tornado whistle, so, where's that, you guys can't see it on the camera, you guys probably can't tell, but, I'm 
There we go. That's it. Ooh. Really loud. Selling kit. Um. Bubble level. Yep, bubble level. Or some oil in there for oiling up some fishing hooks and stuff like that. A um. Because if the, if the condition worsened and they went to the helicopter there and they needed to get them all the way to Victoria, they would not leave until they were sure everything was okay. A so candle with some thread wrapped around it and some electrical tape at the bottom, just a little bit. Got one of these um handy dandy little fire striker fire scene rods with a um. Some uh, magnesium on the back. I like this one because it's nice and thin. And also, I can use the magnesium. So. But yeah. Then I got. This is a straw. Then I got two of these paper clips. Two paper clips in here. Yeah, two paper clips. And then, last but definitely not the least, a fishing and snare kit. Got some snare wire, some fishing line. Got a lot of that. Some hooks. A couple of hooks. Different sizes, a couple of sinkers. I got some snare string. But yeah, that's that. So, this is all that I keep in my survival fishing kit. Or survival kit. So, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Peace.